Hi guys, what's up? It's Valence here, uh, doing a vlog, and this vlog is gonna be two things. Uh, first of all, it's to tell you that I'm now gonna do vlogs. Um, so I actually have been wanting to do vlogs for a while. Um, I thought about doing a vlogging channel, but, you know, didn't really think too much of it, and I've always said that, like, a, I'll start doing something, and then I, you know, start maybe two or three, and then I don't keep them going. Uh, it's a tendency of mine just because of the way I think. Um, but I actually do want to do um, vlogs, and I want to keep doing them. So I figured I'd go ahead and do vlogs. A lot of you guys have been saying, you know, why don't you do it in full screen? And I was like, because you realize how bad my camera quality is. Uh, you see there's a little fuzziness and stuff. Um, basically, I'm still using a webcam. It's a Microsoft HD, so it shoots in, I believe it's 720p, which is okay. I'm looking at getting a new one, possibly a Logitech webcam, but I want to get a Canon EOS Rebel, and then use that to shoot video. Video, um, to be crisp and clear and not have these sparkly things everywhere um, but unfortunately money is money and I don't have a lot of it so um, let's go ahead and get it today's vlog uh, first of all that's that's it we're talking about vlogs we're gonna start doing it now I'm gonna make a vlog playlist and I'm just gonna kind of start fresh with that uh, so expect vlogs you know whenever I kind of feel like it I'm not gonna do anything crazy but let's go ahead and do my vlog for today so my vlog for today is actually on my arm, if you just caught a glimpse of it. But uh, a friend of mine actually was like, hey, would you, would you want one of these? Uh, and I had said, sure. So uh, he was debating doing some cosplay stuff and picked these up a while back. And they're the Assassin's Creed Brotherhood gauntlets that they had uh, on GameStop for a limited time. I think they're back now. But he had bought a couple of them and ended up not using a couple of them and was like, hey, I'll, I'll give you one for a decent price. So I was like, yeah, sure. So I picked one up um, and he sent it to me. I got it in today and I, you know, the, I opened it up. Obviously, it's I mean, it's right here. It's on my arm right now. You can see that. Um, but, you know, it's it's pretty decent. The price on it was $40 uh, when it first came out and with shipping and handling, it's like 50 bucks or something like that. Um, I picked it up for half price, so I got it for 20 plus shipping, which I think was like 20, 25 bucks or something like that. Um, but it's 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 okay. Um, so let let's go ahead and like look at it. So this is the gauntlet itself. Um, you see, you have the plate right there, and it's all it's all plastic, which is you know for a 40 dollar product, it's what you'd expect basically. Um, it's nothing worth a couple hundred dollars. It's just a kind of a cool, uh, cool cheesy collectible to have if you're a video game person, and that's that's basically it. So you do have the gauntlet, and it's in two separate pieces. So you will have the actual sheath or the plate, and this is in plastic. Um, again, very high detail. It's Etio's gauntlet. They do have one coming out from McFarland Toys for I believe it's fifty dollars um, with. Kenway's Gauntlet, and I'm thinking about picking that up, actually. I, I'd be interested in picking that up. But uh, you can tell it's just kind of hard plastic. I mean, it's not going to break, obviously. Um, and then you also have a small strap. It's just a plastic strap, regrettably, um, on a metal piece there. I wish it was actually, you know, cloth, but, uh, you know, you ask for too much, I guess you don't receive. So you do have that pinned in with a couple pieces there. So that's the brace. Now, um, the actual blade itself is on a plastic cover, which is actually quite comfortable. Um, you can see right there, it's, it's going to be an awkward angle to hold. Um, you see right there, it's secured by two Velcro straps, which are totally adjustable. Um, it, it works very well, actually. Um, but you see there, just pull it tight. Done. Um, which is really neat. I, I think it's pretty nifty. Uh, and it sits on your forearm. Now, it's actually pretty big on my forearm. I'm not the buffest person in the world. I haven't... I, not a big workout enthusiast, but it would fit on a uh, much larger person with a bigger forearm than me because uh, I actually had to tighten it quite a lot just to get it on my arm. Um, so you put that on your arm, and then the brace will go over that. But you see that the blade is here. Um, the blade, I mean, it's for plastic, it's pretty detailed, so it's all hand-carved. Um, go ahead and see if I can get it up there for you guys. It's, it's difficult to maneuver here. So there you go. There's the blade. Um, pretty nice right like it's it's not half bad so you have that now the blade is activated um, by pushing there and it comes out um, it's it's just cheap I mean it's not cheap plastic but it's malleable plastic so you obviously don't hurt anybody with it I guess um, and it's in two pieces so you have the front piece which goes into the second and the second goes back down into the blade holster um, so you do have that and this is the other thing too it's kind of how cheesy it is. Um, 
again it's not a very expensive piece of gear it's not like it's custom it's just 40 bucks so it's kind of a cheesy plastic alternative if you wanted something uh, kind of cheap for cosplays it looked pretty good now for the record I think it looks great and for something that's plastic it's actually not half bad and maybe I just got a bad blade I don't know um, but I can't draw those it just shoots the tip of here off I'll probably just fix it with some super glue or something because um, it just glues onto a thing there so you do have the button there to uh, release the blade and then you actually have a lock down here to lock the blade in place so you don't accidentally like tap it you know um, but it's actually, it's actually quite nice. So, uh, you know, for 20, 25 bucks from a friend of mine, uh, who had a couple lying around, I, I was kind of more than happy to, uh, it's just a cool collectible to have. I'm not going to be wearing it around. I'm not going to be cosplaying. Uh, you can see the brace just kind of fits right over there. Harder to move with the brace. I don't know how Ezio does it. Um, but there you go. So it looks, it looks good. I mean, for a, for a pretty cheap, it's like something you'd find at like a Halloween prop store or something like that. Go ahead and lock that into place as well. Um, yeah, but it's it's pretty nice. It's cool. Uh, there's the bracer, you know. So it's it's pretty neat. I, I really do enjoy it. I think it's a pretty cool prop to have. Um, just for, you know, shits and giggles. Uh, it's nice to have. So there's there's the blade. And, you know, kind of cool, right? If you're an Assassin's Creed fan. Um, so I'm interested to see kind of the Edward Kenway one and see if they make it a little better. I know it's being made by McFarlane Toys instead of uh, McFarlane's Toys instead of NECA, which is what this one is made by. Uh, they did the Assassin's Creed figurines up to Revelations, I believe, before McFarlane took over. Um, but hey, it's a it's a cool little prop to have if you're a big Assassin's Creed fan. Mine will be sitting on my shelf, um, actually right up there next to Connor. Voila. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty cool. But uh, that's that's kind of what I got today. I just totally elbowed my microphone. It's hard to move in. It's it's like really difficult to type on. But uh, you know, you live and you learn. So there you guys go. Assassin's Creed Gauntlet. Um, I'm sure you can still find them on GameStop's website. I haven't looked myself, but um, I'm, I'm sure they have them restocked by now. So you can pick yours up for forty bucks. Um, I got mine for twenty five because I have I have friends who cosplay and don't need stuff. Um, but it is a cool little prop to get, uh, and you know, a nice little birthday gift for myself. So there you guys go. Uh, enjoy the vlog. Hopefully, hopefully enjoy the vlog. If you did, feel free to, you know, like comment, also subscribe. I'm going to be posting vlogs consistently, uh, with my awesome quality camera talking about various topics, or whatever. Uh, so feel free to, uh, check that out. Anyway, guys, have a good one. I'm a valence. I play video games and do nerd oriented stuff. And I would love to have you here on my channel. So Hit that subscribe button.